Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The One Most Home. Uh, this is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design and basically the perfect motorhome for you. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this fantastic motorhome. Uh, this one's called a Remore Evo Sound 7. Now you might be thinking, why 7? Because this is actually a 7 berth motorhome. So it sleeps 7 people and it also travels 7 people which is very unusual. If you're a big family or if you've got a big group of friends who want to go out motorhoming, then this is a real consideration for you. Absolutely fantastic looking inside, great layout. Now it's built on a Ford Transit chassis. Uh, it's got a two litre TDCI engine and it's got a fully automatic gearbox. So at the front of this, obviously Ford Transit chassis, it's got daytime running lights, indicators on the wind mirrors, and if you notice, we've got this big Luton over the cab, which actually has got a double bed inside, which I'll show you when we get in there. Uh, this is where your gas bottles live, so you can get two reasonably sized gas bottles in there. And it's also got a Fiamma canopy along the top here. So that will just pull out and obviously protect you from the rain or the sun. And it's got two legs that drop down. Um, so you've got a nice little area for having a barbecue and all that sort of stuff. Um, that's where you fill up your fresh water. So it's got a fresh water tank and a wastewater tank. And then going around to the back of the motorhome, this little compartment here is where your cassette lives for your toilet. Um, again, you've got LED lights on the back and just up on the top here, this particular one's got a reversing camera. Just inside there, inside that window is where you've got the toilet and shower. And this particular one has got a separate toilet and shower. But check this out, look at this. Now this is a huge storage area um, and I've put it all up so you can see it actually. But what happens is this here is one of the single beds and that folds back down and then obviously your mattress will go on top of there. But if you're traveling, you've got lots of things to take with you. Obviously you can fold that up out of the way and have this huge storage area. And obviously I'll put some dimensions of that storage area uh, on the screen in a second. This is the sort of chimney for your heating system. And moving round, let's just have another look. So pretty cool looking vehicle, automatic on a Ford chassis. People really like these Fords. They feel very car-like when you're driving them. But let's have a good look inside, shall we? So guys, if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe to the channel. Um, also, if you've got something to say, any questions, any queries, or you wanna let me know how I'm getting on, then do put a comment below. And also, to keep me motivated, do give me a thumbs up on the video. Just as you go into the habitation door, you'll notice you've got these bunk beds. So really nice sized bunk beds. And who loves these? Children. So if you've got some kids who are coming with you that don't wanna to sleep together, or even adults actually, that don't want to sleep together, then these are great. Um, if it is a young one, or if it's someone who's had too many drinks, um, you can put this safety net up as well so they don't roll out of bed of an evening. Um, but that's a really great place for kids and also adults, like I say. Um, this area is the other side of the external storage. So if you remember, that door there was completely open and all this area was storage here. Um, so what happens is that bed will fold up out of the way um, to, to give you more storage under there, which is fantastic. Um, also, if you're sleeping at night, you've got some curtains here to draw that across just for a bit of privacy. Um, on my left hand side, this is where the toilet and shower is. So you've got an electric flush toilet here. Nice little sink just done the top there. It's actually got a cupboard. I'll just close that, uh, which has got a big mirror on it. Hello. And then to the left hand side here, there's a big toilet. Uh, sorry, big toilet, a big shower. Um, so that's a nice area, separate toilet shower, which people often go for uh, because they don't want to get the toilet wet uh, whilst they're showering. To my right, you've got the kitchen. Um, so you've got three gas burners, sink for doing your washing up, um, plenty of drawer space. And let's see if I can swing this round here. Let's have a look. Let's open that up there. Big storage cupboard under there as well. Um, at the moment, it's got some fluids and things like that in there, but you could quite easily put all your pots and pans and things in there. Um, just inside here, let's have a look. Yep, it's got a solar panel on the roof as well. So that's a solar charger. 
and then up on top again more cupboard space and then just round to the right this is all your control panel really quite modern actually this one's touch sensitive so you can turn all your lights on check your levels of your batteries how much water you've got on board and all that sort of stuff there and then here you've got a truma uh, heating system which is a blown air heating system which will run from gas or electricity so this is the kitchen area really handy nice got sockets everywhere even an extra little thing here for turning the lights on and off so when you get in the door you can just turn them on immediately here which is brilliant and also one thing I noticed on this one actually was you've got this little button here now when that's out you can open the drawers so they fold open nice and easily but you can push that in and then that will completely lock off all these drawers so they won't fly open as you're traveling also got a kitchen roll holder there as well look underneath here let's just press this little button there we go look at that led strip light all the way along and i believe there's another one on this side as well let's see if we can press that one there we go look at that and another one actually <laughs> let's have a look just here so the lighting in this van is fantastic and i have to say it looks really really modern in here um, really sleek looking van inside um, and actually considering you can sleep seven people in here you've got a lot of space i mean look at the floor space in here it's huge just here you've got the fridge so fridge here freezer box on top and then below i was quite impressed with this actually look at this you've got a big sort of fridge drawer for keeping sort of bottles of pop and things like that in there i guess but that is fantastic and then up, whoops if i can open it up on the top you've got some cupboard space there big bit of storage space on the top grill and oven and in here you've got a huge wardrobe so you could hang all your clothes on here look at that that's a fantastic space to to keep everything now this is where the magic happens with this fan as i turn around look at this so one two three four obviously two belts in the front five six and another belt here seven so you can travel seven people the way this area works is that this table drops down. Also, this table drops down as well. So this one can, can be converted into a single bed. It's a small single bed, but I'll give you the dimensions of that in a second. And this one can be converted into a double bed. Also, up on the top here, so up the little ladder, there we go. This is a huge double bed on the top as well. Plenty of lighting up here. Also, again, you've got the safety rail if you want it to put that up in case somebody either has too many glasses of wine and rolls out of bed or it's a child up there. And also, one thing to point out is you have got a window you can open on the side there as well. And that has got a privacy blind and a mosquito net. And the same applies for the windows all in the habitation as well. Um, fly screen and blackout blind and they do open. You've got skylights above. So just up the top here, you've got a skylight there. And then if I turn around, you've also got another skylight up there as well. To quickly show you the cab, automatic gearbox, cab aircon, cruise control, multifunctional steering wheel, and a really nice, comfortable place to be actually in the front here. Um, and everybody loves a Ford Transit. They're, they're great to drive, I have to say. So what do you think? What a fantastic little motorhome this is. It's around seven meters in length by around 2.3 meters in width. Ford Transit chassis, so really nice to drive, and it's also automatic, and it sleeps up to seven people. You might not need to take seven people with you all the time, but it is nice to have the facility to do so, <laughs> just in case. I mean, if you're anything like, like me, I probably haven't got enough friends to do that, um, but I know lots of you have, and obviously big families and things like that, so this is spot on. So then guys, if you're looking for a nice spacious motorhome, Lots of traveling seat belts, lots of extra berth, separate toilet, shower, automatic gearbox, and this is a cracking motorhome at an affordable price. Then guys, what did you think? Seven berths, seven traveling seats, automatic, separate toilet, shower. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this beauty. Um, there's lots of things that people 
would like from a motorhome, but this pretty much has the majority of things that people have on their tick list. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Also remember to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that thumbs up guys. It really does give me inspiration and helps me get motivated to carry on doing these videos for you. Um, and hopefully in some way, these videos are helping you find the perfect motorhome for you. My name's Jonathan. Next demo will be coming very soon and it's something exciting. So remember to subscribe. <laughs> Take care guys, bye bye.